This summer, I substituted almost 70% of my weightlifting for the Isomax. My strength has gone up and it is very noticeable, but there are two things that happened this summer that I'm really not a fan of and I think that we should cover that in this video. My muscular endurance seems to have gone to crap and the same thing with my muscle stabilizers, though not as much as the endurance, but they have taken a noticeable hit. Let's cover why. There are actually six reasons why muscular endurance takes a hit if you substitute your weightlifting entirely for isometric exercises. The first is metabolic fatigue. During overcoming isometric exercises, our muscles work intensely, leading to the production of metabolic byproducts like lactic acid. As the contraction continues, the lactic acid accumulates, causing a decrease in the pH levels within the muscle tissue. This drop in pH interferes with muscle contractility and can contribute to a sensation of burning and fatigue. It becomes harder for the muscle to maintain force production, leading to decreased endurance. The second reason would be the isometric nature. Unlike dynamic movements that allow for alternating periods of contraction and relaxation, overcoming isometrics involves sustained muscle contraction without movement. This continuous tension impedes blood flow to the muscle, limiting the delivery of oxygen and nutrients and hindering waste product removal. The lack of fresh oxygen and nutrients can compromise the muscle's ability to sustain the contraction leading to quicker fatigue. Limited oxygen supply. Muscle contractions require oxygen to produce energy through aerobic metabolism. During dynamic movements, blood flow helps deliver oxygen to the muscles. In overcoming isometrics, however, the sustained contraction restricts blood flow, leading to a decreased oxygen supply. This lack of oxygen can lead to a shift toward anaerobic metabolism, which is less efficient and contributes to fatigue. Recruitment and fatigue. Different muscle fibers are activated depending on the type of contraction. Overcoming isometrics might recruit a specific subset of muscle fibers, which might be more susceptible to fatigue. Additionally, the continuous muscle activation depletes energy stores such as ATP and glycogen faster than the dynamic movements contributing to earlier fatigue. Number five, neuromuscular fatigue. The nervous system plays a crucial role in controlling muscle contractions. During overcoming isometrics, the nervous system must repeatedly signal the muscles to maintain the contraction. This sustained signaling can lead to neuromuscular fatigue, where the efficiency of communication between nerves and muscles decreases. This can result in reduced force output and endurance. And finally, number six, the psychological factors. The mental strain of performing overcoming isometrics can be overlooked. The absence of visible movement and the need to exert continuous effort can be mentally taxing. Psychological fatigue can influence your perception of physical fatigue, potentially causing you to feel more fatigued than you actually are, leading to decreased endurance. For me personally, of those six, I 100% experienced four of them. The only two I didn't experience were the last two I mentioned, the neuromuscular fatigue and the psychological aspect of it. I, those, those were fine. The other four, absolutely. I felt it my very first day when I hit chest and buys. I was just like, I mean, when I pushed that dumbbell, it just, I'm not going to say it flew up, but it was just, whoosh. I was expecting more of a struggle, but I mean, whoosh goes right up and I'm like cruising. First set, totally fine. Second set, totally fine. Third set, one, two, three, brick wall. It just fell. It just, I had nothing left. I was like, where did that come from? My muscle endurance took a hit. You know what else took a hit? The stabilizers. Now let's go over exactly why. Let's cover what the muscle stabilizers are. Muscle stabilizers are small muscles that help maintain proper joint alignment and stability during movement. During overcoming isometrics, these stabilizer muscles are engaged to hold your body or a specific joint in a fixed position against resistance. However, these stabilizers might not be accustomed to prolonged sustained contractions. And as a result, three things are probably going to end up happening. One, a muscle imbalance. Overusing certain stabilizers while neglecting others can create muscle imbalances, which might lead to reduced stability and an increased risk of injury when switching back over to dynamic. Number two, stabilizer fatigue. Stabilizer muscles are often recruited to a lesser extent during dynamic movements, making them more prone to fatigue during overcoming isometrics. This fatigue can compromise their ability to maintain joint stability, further increasing the risk of injury. 
And lastly, compensatory movements. Fatigue stabilizers can lead to compensatory movements where larger muscles or alternative movement patterns take over. This can lead to inefficient movement and potentially harm your overall dynamic performance. Remember that in a lot of our videos, I mentioned that human beings, we are designed to move. At no point in evolutionary history were we ever designed to be stationary or sedentary, okay? It's part of the big picture. And while isometrics do work, we just need to be mindful of just doing OI and nothing else. Yielding isometrics are entirely different. That's a whole different video because <laughs> yielding nature is to it's totally all about muscular endurance anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. But because we're training so far on the left side of that force velocity curve, these are some of the things that might crop up. So it's really important to bridge that gap and add exercises that mitigate the losses or if not completely nullify them. For example, with the Isomax, hitting up time mode for these long endurance one minute to two minute holds so that you don't completely lose your endurance. Hope the squad found value in this. We'll see you next video. Peace.